the normal conditions continue, it's a pretty fall day, Joe. Oh yeah, the mornings are delightful and above normal temperatures in the afternoon. We should be at 74 degrees. We're at 82 right now as we uh, look at the headlines. Record challenging heat over the next several days. Sunny and continued dry with favorable flying conditions continuing for Balloon Fiesta. Now here's the uh, expectation for the balloon launch tomorrow, 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Starting off 48 degrees, then kind of topping off around 55 degrees around 9 o'clock in the morning. We should have a little bit of a drainage wind going and maybe even a box setting up across the area and the winds at the surface and aloft look to be on the light side making for really good flying conditions so really encouraged about that high pressure is anchored over the southwestern part of the country that's going to edge closer to us now we'll see a few clouds across northern and western parts of the state but uh, really it's just going to be warm weather and that's going to be in play over the next several days we will have a bit of a cool down as we get into the latter portion of the weekend tomorrow morning 55 degrees 7 o'clock in the morning we see sunshine a few partly cloudy skies at times winds will be on the light side and temperatures again will be well above average across the area we start off in the morning 40s and 50s throughout much of new mexico and again above normal temperatures will be working in as we get into the afternoon there could be some isolated gusty showers mainly across the higher terrain and this would be in effect for tuesday and again on wednesday but the big story will be above normal temperatures throughout much of the viewing area now let's bring you up to date on that very dangerous storm. Hurricane Milton exploded in intensity. 180 mile per hour winds. The biggest uh, storm in the Atlantic hurricane basin is Hurricane Allen in 1980, which had 190 mile per hour winds. But this could be one of the most destructive storms ever to hit the west central part of Florida. It looks like it's going to come in at category four strength and then uh, weaken to category three. So there's just going to be some torrential problems across the area with the big storm, sur storm surge. And Look at the big wind field hitting all this area around Tampa. This will be the biggest hurricane they've had since the one in 1921, and it stays at hurricane strength as it crosses the northern portion of Florida. So this is just going to be a horrendous storm for them. Meanwhile, here in New Mexico, we got the dry skies in play, partly cloudy with daytime highs above average over the next several days for Farmington. Southwestern parts of the state will be dry and quiet. Daytime highs in the 80s and temperatures hanging out in the 80s over the next several days throughout the Silver City area as well. Southeastern New Mexico will see 80s to around 91 degrees over in Roswell, 85 Alamogordo, 76 for a high in Ruidoso and the hot 90s will continue for quite some time throughout the Roswell area from the East Mountains into northeastern parts of New Mexico, dry and quiet. And then as we get to Sunday, winds will pick up as another cold front drops into the area and that will be lowering temperatures as a result. We'll be in the 70s to around 81 degrees over in Española and then warm conditions over the next several days in Santa Fe and then some cool air starts to work in for the start of the upcoming week and the metro area will have overnight lows dropping into the 40s and 50s so that good refreshing start on the day and daytime highs well above the average temperature of 74 degrees so 10 degrees above average for Tuesday Wednesday still record challenging heat for Thursday Friday on into Saturday and with it we'll see the canyon breezes start to pick up by Sunday afternoon fall Followed by uh, breezy conditions out of the west and a temperature around 79 degrees. So that's that's the cool down expectation and the seven day forecast. Thanks,